Fabio Foreign, Kanye West, and Alicia Keys have just dropped a new song called City of Gods, and this was actually anticipated because they were spotted shooting a music video a couple of weeks ago, and we finally ended up getting the track. So guys, let me know how you like the song in the comment section, and we're going to be covering both the Kanye West rollout for Donda 2 and Fabio Foreign's new album rollout on the channel. So please subscribe if you have not already, and smash the like button if you did enjoy the song. So Lou, let me ask you the question, how have you enjoyed the song? Because it kind of feels like a part two to Off the Grid, Off the Jump, and I'm not sure how I'm like really liking it so far. Yeah, it kind of feels like they were trying to go for a vibe of mixing off the grid with maybe Empire State of Mind with the Alicia Keys chorus. And to be honest with you, starting off with Alicia Keys, I thought that her vocals, as they always are, were sensational. I love the melody she carries out, but it just didn't really like match the production all that much. That's you know what facts. I mean? Like that's that was my one concern is like where is Alicia Keys gonna find herself on a drill beat? And I don't know. I, I think they they did it. I mean, it was implemented into the song, but I just don't feel as if it fit well. But I want to actually get on to Fabio Foreign because the energy that he brought on Off the Grid was absolutely sensational. It was the biggest surprise feature of 2021. And I think when you look at this, it, it's a good verse, but it kind of feels as if they're trying to maybe recapture that Off the Grid hype like right yeah. away. You get what I'm trying to say? Definitely. And I think like the energy is still volatile. I do like how much he's packing in in terms of um, the vocal cadence, but I will say this, I just feel like um, it wasn't that interesting of a verse. I feel like the writing was lacking because if you go to Off The Grid or if you go to a song like Storytime, which was a single that Fabio had released after Off The Grid, um, he's actually like spitting some bars. And on this song, it kind of felt lackluster. It felt like there was maybe no purpose. And um, him coming in and saying that he's kind of, um, you know, sitting at the top of the throne for New York since uh, Pop Smoke has passed away, might be too soon. Doesn't have an album out yet. So I do like what Fabio Foreign brings to the hip hop game, but I think he still has more to prove. And this song didn't really nudge me the right way, per se. It didn't nudge me the right way, but it didn't necessarily put me into a bad spot because I still think that it's an all right song. I just think that a lot more could have been done as far as, you know, performances go. Because even at that, the Kanye feature was. Mm, you don't like it well Kanye called it a feature by the way so there's that in the verse as well and like there was the whole Pete Davidson disc with like the SNL thing going on and then like yeah. him talking about his relationship with Drizzy and it was just like all over the place it, it was say. super all over the place and I don't know it just didn't feel focused it didn't feel coherent and it just really felt as if they were re like you know trying to recapture that hype of off the grid so let me ask you alright so since that we're on both of the, on the same page and let me know if you guys feel the same way in the comment section do you think that this is going to be a similar situation where Don the two where Kanye's going to be trying to maybe make some part twos to songs and maybe trying to like recapture some hype that he had headed in the summer with Donda? I mean possibly because a lot of the features that are working with um sorry a lot of the features that were on Donda um those same artists seem to be working on Donda too so it's very possible that we see them on the new project but yeah Kanye's performance was kind of underwhelming here for me because even if you look at the lyrics from one line to the next like there's no correlation with um, the flow of the lyrics and the songwriting like nothing is really contextualized it kind of feels all over the place and that's my major takeaway with this song is the fact that um, it's just not coherent at all because you have a very messy production that kind of blends a drill beat with some hyper pop sounds then you have these playboy cardi ad libs that pretty much come out of nowhere and again it goes into like, okay, let's try to capture that same energy of off the grid by having some type of Cardi influence on here. And apart from that, yeah, the Alicia Keys vocals weren't really properly utilized for this kind of beat. And it's kind of meant to be this New York anthem, but it doesn't you know bring that emotion out of me the same way that other New York classic songs have in the past. So I don't see myself replaying this at all as, as time comes. I mean, I'll give it a couple more chances, but... Not a strong lead single if it is the lead single for Fabio's new project. Well, it depends where the single is actually placed. Maybe they just end up dropping it and doesn't end up being a part of any project. But I'm on that same wave. Like, this kind of feels like a, a song that's trying to be geared towards a New York audience. That's trying to be like that New York anthem that, let's say, Empire State of Mind was at a certain point. And um, I don't know. Like, I, I just, I, I think Alicia Keys did a fantastic fucking job, nonetheless. Like, I think Absolutely. that she, her vocals are always beautiful. But... 
uh, the like you said, even the production was all over the place. Like, why why try and match you know drill beats and like hyper pop synths with Alicia Keys vocals? Like, it doesn't necessarily make sense. And I understand that um, genres are starting to be like flat to now and like okay, like we're starting to blend in all kinds of different subgenres. But there are certain things that just don't mesh, in my opinion. And that necessarily mesh the best for me. So, um, listen, I'm not in a bad spot with it, though. Yeah. I'm still going to go back and revisit it. Um, it's also a bit lengthy, though. It's four minutes long. You know, another thing is that I feel as if the Alicia Keys hook is, like, kind of played way too much within the song as well. I think it maybe almost takes up, like, a good, like, one-third of yeah. the song. So It's kind of the best part of the song, even though it doesn't fit that beat. But nonetheless, yeah, I think it's going to be a grower. I think that it might get better with each listen. But... In terms of Kanye's releases this year, I do prefer Easy compared to this. But let us know in the comments how you guys felt about the song. And as we said earlier, we are going to be covering the rollouts of this new Fabio Foreign album. And we will be doing an album review once that drops. Same thing for Don the Two from Kanye West. We are going to be dropping a review. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching the full video. And if you're new to NFR, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we'll be keeping you guys updated with the latest album releases in terms of update videos album reviews and our own original series is on the weekly and we also have our patreon plan available in the description below where you can access weekly bonus content and also access to our discord so be sure to check out all of that and we'll catch you in the next one